Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, thank you for being here. We're looking at the subject of God, who is God, and we're on the Stanford Dictionary of Philosophy under the Trinity. Amazing, good, succinct, but yet very thorough discussion on different theories of God, the Trinity. It's one thing to just say, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It's another thing to flesh all that out and what is the Bible trying to speak to us. So thank you for being here today. And so we're in Brian Lefto Divine Life Streams. It's under section one five about one self theories and kind of undermining what's known as social theories, which is not true of the Trinity, that love has to have an object. So there has to be a son and a Holy Spirit because God has to have an object. No, because then you're saying God has continued. He's not God. God couldn't be love unless. No, because self-love exists. Ephesians 5, no man ever hated he had his own flesh. He, he loves himself. And so God could just love himself as an object without having collateral persons. So that's easy. Brian Lefto sets the agenda for his own one self theory and attack on social, that is multiple self theories. In contrast to these, he asserts, there's just one divine being or substance in God. As Thomas Aquinas says, God begotten receives numerically the same nature God begetting has. To make Aquinas claim perfectly plain, I introduce a technical term, trope. Now, Traditionally, like Aquinas would say, God is simple. He is a spirit, which means he is one and he's not divided up. And people are like, well, then how do you get three? It's a long story. Abel and Cain were both human, so they had the same nature of humanity. Yet each had his own nature and Cain's humanity was not identical with Abel's. A trope is an individualized case of an attribute. Their bearers individuate tropes. Cain's humanity is distinct from Abel's just because it is Cain's and not Abel's. With this term in hand, I now restate Aquinas' claim, while father and son instance the divine nature deity, they have but one trope of deity between them, which is God's bears individuate tropes. If the father's deity is God's, this is because the father just is God. Now, let me just keep reading to flesh this out. Lefto characterizes his one self trinity theory as Latin, following the recent practice of contrasting Western or Latin with Eastern or Greek or social trinity theories, such as theosis and things. Even though, like Jay Dyer, I listen to him a lot on God, and he, ha he talks about the modal collapse problem in the trinity and this type thing. Man, it gets close. Leftow considers his theory to be in the lineage of some prominent Latin language theorist. In a later discussion, Lefto adds this Trinity theory uh, needn't commit to trope theory about properties. Now, and also, um, there's a supplementary document on the history of Trinitary doctrines and Augustine, because Augustine has been accused of being oneness. I know oneness people who have read certain things in Augustine, they're like, yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. Um, but maybe not in totality. But I've read a ton of Augustine and I'm, I didn't, I missed something. <laughs> um, Rather, whether or not properties are tropes, the father having deity equals as numerically identical to the sons having deity, for both are at bottom just gods having deity. That's left out. Left out makes an extended analogy with time travel, just as a dancer may repeatedly time travel back to the dance stage, resulting in a whole chorus line of dancers. So God may eternally live his life in three streams or strands, each person constituting strand of God's life is supposed to, in some sense, count as a complete life, although for any one of the three, there's more to God's life than in it. Just as the many stages of the time traveling dancer's life are united, we'll explain this in a moment. Further, in the stages of her by their being uh, causally connected in the right way, so too analogously, 
the lives of each of the three persons count as being the strands of the life of God because of the mysterious but somehow causal inter-Trinitarian relations. The Father generating the Son, the Father and the Son spirating the Spirit. Which I love talking about all this because I just don't think the Bible teaches this uh, a lot of this and like eternal generation I believe the father generated the son of course the Holy Spirit did Luke 135 who's the father but it wasn't eternal except in the mind of God because the lamb slain from the foundation of the world so here's where we're going to try to explain that you have a dancer time travel dancer comes here dancer same dancer comes here same dancer comes here so it's three streams same dancer that's very close to what's known as the economic trinity which Tertullian actually believed in Tertullian became a montanist and most montanists were oneness so he may have converted to oneness at some point and um, and it's very close <laughs> to what oneness believed because the economic trinity is. <sighs> Let's keep going. But we're going to do it in another video. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. Check out all our videos on a variety of Christian subjects. And share with your friends. Join us daily. We love you. Bye-bye.